Hi guys, welcome to another video. As you can see, we're here at our old test station, all dusted off, cobwebs gone. What we're gonna try and test today is the flex on a barrel. We have our standard aluminium barrel. This is aircraft grade aluminium. It's about 1.4 millimeter thick. This specific tube we designed many, many years ago to have a specific internal buoyancy and wall thickness and structural strength to perform the way it does. So if you load a barrel, there's going to be flex depending on how you load it. On a roller, both rubbers are around the front. It's all in compression. There shouldn't be any flex. The standard gun though, especially with two rubbers, will flex the tube. How much flex will depend on the wall thickness of the barrel, the type of aluminium, and just how much you load it. For obvious reasons, length also plays a part. The longer it is, the more of a leverage it has, the more it's going to flex. In this case, for the test, we're using our most common long gun, which is a 1.3 barrel, with two 16 millimeter rubbers. The rubbers aren't on, we're gonna pull the equivalent of what those two 16 mil rubbers pull. They're roughly 50 kilos each at maximum, and we're gonna be doing 100 kilos on this barrel. This is just to show how the tube can flex. The reason I'm doing this is a few years back, I set up a laser on a gun to go into the sea and trial it as a way of targeting. I set it up in the factory, I looked down the barrel, I sighted exactly where I would normally aim, knowing where the spear would go, dialed the laser in accordingly, got on the water and it shot high. Couldn't understand why. Then I came back to the factory, set it up again, looked down, it was still pointing exactly where I had set it, but this was on an unloaded gun. So I loaded the gun, checked again, and saw there was a good 50 to 60 millimeters difference between unloaded and loaded on the actual target itself. The target being about five and a half to six meters away. We've replicated that here now. That test, by the way, I did before was on a carbon barrel, which we know is stiffer. This is an aluminum. Granted, it is a bit softer. We will see just how much flex that is. So let's go to the rig itself. We've done this a few times. We had quite a complicated affair here with too much flexing in the rig. We want to measure the barrel, not the rig. So I had to add an additional stiffener with jamming bolts and then clamped everything onto the back frame. It looks like a bit of a Frankenstein, but believe me, there is virtually zero movement here. But if I put my finger on the end of the barrel, you can see without much effort, I can flex that tube. For obvious reason, it's a freestanding tube. There's nothing supporting it. There will be flex. In the muzzle, I've put two 12 mil rubbers with Dyneema through it. This would approximate more or less where a 16 mil would end under tension. So if you pull a 16 mil, it's going to compress and it will become thinner. So this is as close as damn it to the actual load point that two 16s will give it. On top, we have a laser sighted onto the muzzle. It's just taped on, it doesn't matter. That'll follow the barrel exactly. And we're gonna see that on the wall when we switch it on. We now have the laser set. Everything's going to be pulled in exactly the same plane as what a rubber would be on a spear. The heights and everything how calculated exactly. The load cell is quite loose, so that'll give me an accurate tension. Although this is quite stiff in the zone, that's just the ram pulling it. This is all loose enough to keep it in exactly the same plane. Let's haul on it. As you can see, it's zero. You can clearly see there is movement. That now is about the same as what one 16 mil would do. There is four or five centimeters of change at the ruler. You'll see it's moving a little bit left to right. That's because this whole rig is slightly sloped. We're not too concerned about that. All we're trying to do here is replicate what would happen at max load. There we go, just on 100, let me hold it there. Now you can see how much flex actually occurring. Now that's quite interesting for those who are concerned with flex. Softer barrels, thinner barrels will flex more. Heavier duty 
steel tubes would be better, but it's all a matter of balance. The heavier the barrel you make, the more cumbersome that gun's going to be to swing in the water. I've tried stainless in the past, doesn't work, way too heavy, difficult to maneuver. So this is the optimum for aluminium and more your entry level type gun. Hope you guys enjoyed that video. The next one will be on carbon. We're gonna show exactly the same setup, but in carbon. Stand by for that video next week. Like and subscribe.